In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the tape simulator as an alternate creative EQ effect to boost low end and tame high end presence. We're back to the Premiere default clean kit preset and I'm going to add the tape simulator to the kick and snare instrument bus channels. If I solo them, we can open up each of the plugin instances and we can adjust the speed as a way to adjust the high end presence and the drive as a means to adjust the low end presence. So I have the kick tape simulator plugin on the left and the snare tape simulator plugin on the right. So let's do the same thing and take a listen in the full mix. Now we have drums coming in from the overhead and ambience channels, so it won't be as apparent, but this is just a different way you can adjust the low end and high end of any channel using the tape simulator. So I've added the tape simulator effect to the output channel that's here on the right and then I still have the tape simulator instances on the kick bus and the snare bus. All of the tape simulator plugins are set to default and for the output instance I'm going to turn down the drive just a bit. So I'll leave the kick and snare tape simulators in the default state while adjusting the drive and speed of the tape simulator on the output channel. As an alternative, you can make adjustments to the tape simulator in the output and adjust the tape simulator effects within the kick and snare bus.
So there's a few options of how you can use the tape simulator plugin on instrument channels, bus channels, and the output as an alternative method for adjusting the low and high frequencies of your drum mix.